Oh yeah. When you need a hand and you don't know why, just know that I'll be there. When the road is long and you feel so tired. Okay, so came out uh rj took me out to where the hanzo v5 is and there it is and there's rj what's up guys Back again. yeah so john like i said he came all the way from vegas he's seen all of our bikes now what we've done with that especially with the graphene battery that's what the main reason he came here for but of course while he's here we had to show him the v5 the prototype v5 this is the one that we've been taking pre-orders on it's a beast of a machine, to be honest. Like yes, a, it is. This housing is actually a 12,000 watt motor. We have custom built an 8,000 watt motor on it and with a 72 volt, uh, 90 amp hour battery. So this bike basically has the same setup as we have in our V4 that we sold before. But because of the custom built motor, this motor performs much better than the V4. We did a drag race between them and the V4 didn't stand a chance against the V5. That's how fast this bike is. And I'm gonna record John riding this bike for the very first time. I just wanna see his experience because I know the experience riding this bike is ridiculous. All right, here so John, yeah, what I do with that helmet? Yeah, you need a helmet for this one. Yeah, I mean, let me just do a close up of the V5. It's insane. That rear tire was almost impossible to find this big. It's actually a racing tire that we had custom built. It's a 190 millimeter tire. 180 is what's the biggest what we could find. But after a lot of being a hard head and such, we found the 190 inch a custom, a company custom built this tire for us. So it's a ridiculously big tire. Full carbon fiber like you already know. The production bike have a much nicer display than this one. It's the same size, but much more advanced display. The controllers, everything that you guys seen. Full carbon fiber, even the fenders are carbon fiber, both back and front fender, back fender. All right, Mr. John. Yeah, be careful, don't fly away, all right? Don't be back to the future now. No matter how much fun it is, you want me to come back with it, is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so don't, don't fly away, John. <laughs> right, Gone. Think he's gonna come back? Damn, he went to Vegas probably. <laughs> Damn, his dog follow him, Milo? I forgot to hold his dog. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to hold him. Pretty quick. So we're looking forward to race against other other motorcycle companies. Rivet, we're waiting for you guys. We talked to Rivet at the um, Electrify show. Awesome team, awesome bike. And they tried the V5 when we were there, exact same bike actually. And we tried their bike. Rivet does an awesome job too. That is awesome. Right? Yeah. Just just like you expect. Just like you expect out of a hub motor, nice and quiet, quick acceleration. It's like, if you were inclined to, you could probably... There we go. So yeah, um, you could really pop a wheelie on this thing if you want. It's acceleration's there, it's smooth, it just pulls right away too. It's not real jerky like a lot of the other ones are where you get that torque and it just smacks you. Um, it's actually really... <laughs> Who doesn't like the horns? Um, so yeah, this is this is sick, dude. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to ride this some more, man. Be honest, yeah. take it out, and do a little run. Worry about this doggy over here. Hey. <laughs> Might was just chasing him.
Damn, sound like it crashed. <laughs> yeah, it's a fast bike. Took the, oh, we took it pretty nice, like a racer. This Ivan, Ivan is our head mechanical engineer. Size motorcycle. I would say perfect to be honest. So let's go. Yeah, the acceleration on that is really nice. And the handling, because it's so low, you feel nice and tight to the ground. Really good race, I have to say. Yeah, so as that's... Also, the production bike actually has bigger disc and such, so we actually have better brakes on the production bike as a prototype. I was just saying, as you were going down, that uh, it, the, not only is acceleration really smooth, but because it's kind of lower set and a little heavier, it actually feels really solid to the ground too. Yeah. Like when you're accelerating, it doesn't get squirrely and try to take off on you. It's like yeah. goes in a straight line, you know. And you're as you're pointing it that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm, I mean, every time this bike's been our flagship bike, right? When we mm -hmm. started the company in 2016, this bike was the first bike we ever done before. And I was never happy with it. Like every year we made it, I wasn't really happy with the bike. We started improving it every year, every year. So people were saying, why are you changing the design so much? But I was not really happy about the design. And the V5 is the first time I, I, me personally was happy with it because I'm 6'1". I always thought the previous bikes were too, too small. So I felt like a giant on the yeah. bike. And I felt like yeah, everybody that was shorter, maybe 5'7", five, 5'8", five, 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 now up to 5'10", they were okay with it. Right. But I think 5 and then and up, you feel like you're a giant yeah, you on start. the bike. Yeah. But this is the first time we actually did a bike that actually fits people that are 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, you can still, you don't feel like a giant on the bike, basically. Yeah. And the tire size and everything really makes it feel like a motorcycle. It does. The V4 has 16 inch. Oh, and it was 110. Oh yeah, that's totally a different ride. Right? Yeah. yeah. Difference in tires. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm very proud of it. You know, this like I said, it's but also it's full carbon fiber. Yeah, that's There's crazy. No <laughs> that we used before. It's full carbon fiber. As light as you get, get man. To yeah. Make it happen first of all, but yeah. it was worth it. You know, because I think customers gonna love what we did with the oh, V5. Yeah, this is just beautiful. This car, the carbon fiber weaving on it. And yeah, something RJ and I were talking about that you guys probably don't understand is carbon fiber really is an art form. I mean, you mold it, you lay it, you design it, um, and then you you know gloss and sheen it, you coat it. But in order to get this, you have to have people that really know what they're doing. You have to have really quality molds and uh, some fairly expensive equipment, uh, I mean, you know, give or take. But yeah, so this, this isn't easy, I mean, just, even the little pieces that you have to come out with, I mean, this is probably about a, a day or half a day of somebody laying that piece out in a mold and then them putting it through autoclaves and cook it, cooking it and getting the air out of it and all kinds of stuff. So it's just not, it's a whole process, you know, and it's amazing to see this much, to me at least, every body panel on here is carbon fiber. So it's like, you know. The only thing got away was the, was yeah, the headlight. The thing is that carbon fiber is the yeah. front light and this little, a little tail fin. Tail. That's the only yeah. thing that is not carbon. And that's also because we were at one point thinking about doing it, but we were already delayed with the pre-orders. And all the pre-orders customers know that we already have the bike shipped out. They're on their way. They're packing the container yeah. on its way to Oakland. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything takes time. I mean, just doing a carbon fiber part for one bike, it takes a few days so yep. it's not like we can copy paste like you do with aluminium sheets yeah it's it takes time like you just mentioned how, what the process to make carbon fiber that's what it is and, yeah but the end result that's what the whole thing the, quality, yeah. the end results is light you strong cannot, you cannot find it you know unless someone else doing carbon fiber you know you cannot exactly. find any other material that is as good and premium as carbon fiber so yeah i mean all the pre-order customers they're gonna they're gonna get an incredible bike. I think so. Yeah. I think even that Apex deal you guys have going is pretty incredible. The yeah. 1700 down, you're getting the carbon fiber package yeah. and the extra battery, and it and it's only 3400. I mean, yeah. it's a 40, yeah. four, basically it's 40, it's 42 some change, but I'm just gonna say it's like a thousand dollars you're getting basically. Yeah. So off on that, which is, and I rode the Apex earlier today. That was a lot of fun too. That thing. It, it's like the dual motor scooters we used to have in the shop. The little the front tire likes to peel out a little bit if you don't lean on it enough, and it just gets up and goes, you know. So, yeah, yeah 
definitely look at those if he's not sold out of them already. <laughs> That's a problem. But as we go to Vegas, we have we can increase our uh, production capacity, which is which is the idea of getting out there and getting this stuff going. So yeah, this is sweet, man. I'm excited. Like not just the not just these bikes, but the batteries too. I mean, something that people don't quite get. I think are the Blix batteries because this is beautiful, right? You look at this and you can see it. It's all there. It, it appeals to the eye. But, you know, what you don't see is the core and the things in here that make it work, you know? And if this has that graphene battery in it to go with all this carbon fiber, I mean, that not only is that pairing well, but you have one of the best materials for holding electricity and distributing electricity that you can carry around mobile-wise on uh, sitting inside some of the lightest and hardest material that you can make. So, I mean, if that doesn't say sexy to you, I don't know what does. It's like strong heart, strong body, you know, right there. So, yeah. Anything else you guys say on that, RJ, or...? I just hope everybody gets as excited as we are at least. I know, right? As excited we have, but yeah. I mean, I'm very excited for this bike and the battery technology. The battery, I know, is going to come up very, very soon. Yep. But the bike itself, the V5, I'm very excited to have it on the roads because, I, I mean, you tried it, we tried it. We oh, yeah. It is, but I just want the customers to get it on the road and people doing YouTube reviews about it because we're very excited about this bike. The battery technology is just a different level, game-changing. Yeah. That we're waiting for it to have yeah. on the market. Like I say, it's literally step by step. We get it. Getting, getting them going. Yeah. Yeah. These are the fun things that you can actually say the battery technology goes into. The battery technology, that's the work and grind that's going to make all this stuff go in the future. So keep that in mind. Hey, any YouTubers out there, you want to get hold of RJ, ride the V5 maybe, maybe get in touch with him, you know, check it out. I know there's some of you already had an Apex and stuff, but I'm sure, you know, he wouldn't mind one or two of you coming out, playing with a V5 with him for a minute. So, yeah, yeah come play with the V5. Anytime. Right? Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, yeah, Sir Ronster. You know what's up. Normally, when you see a pit bull laying next to a motorcycle helmet, you think there's going to be a Harley in the frame. But no, the world's changing. It's an electric bike now. The Hanzo V5. Dogs love it. <laughs>